Hey everybody, this is Jimny from Jimny Woodworks. I just want to do a quick video. I wanted to show kind of one of the advantages I really like about the the Avid CNC Pro machines is um, I've got the router or the spindle um, all the way out to its slightly backed off from its end of home on the y-axis uh, on the negative direction and you can see that I can get the bit out to about or the, the center of the call it's about an inch and an eighth or so out there so this is pretty handy for end milling uh, things that won't fit um, in inside like I have a vertical fence underneath here that I could use to cut a long slot mortise um, or a spline slot uh, like on the end of a river table a lot of times you'll have uh, kind of weak areas where uh, you want to tie some of the wood together you might have some kind of like bark occlusions or something where it kind of splits the, the uh, two halves uh, of the tabletop you're working on and you just want to put a really deep fat spline in there to kind of tie it together uh, this is really handy for that I don't have to take my top off and go back to the second spacer uh, support in there to do this I can simply clamp something to the front service here and as long as I don't need to go extend out more than about one and an eighth inch which is pretty generous that lets you do uh, a spline on anything up to probably uh, two and a half inches which is uh, you know that's getting to be a really thick tabletop for example so that's a pretty good uh, distance so here I'm machining my first tabletop this is a pair of computer desks that I'm building um, this one took me like three minutes to make the g-code file uh, but a lot of times for a slot like this you don't even need a file you can just simply uh, use your jogging function in Mach 4 to go back and forth because it's really just a slot um, so clamping this on I can make this slot in you know a matter of minutes just clamping this on roughly uh, parallel or roughly horizontal on top clamp it to the frame cut a slot back and forth and it's all done and it really couldn't be easier much faster than making a router jig or something like that um, to cut this slot So after cutting these to length and running them through the router table with a quarter inch round over bit, they fit like a glove. And now I can glue them in and uh, try and tie these uh, ends together so they don't fall apart. So I clamp these uh, down together so that uh, the wood doesn't swell up and move away from the splines. This keeps them nice and straight and flat while the glue is drying. Uh, and then this will be done. I can pour my epoxy and fill all the voids up and finish these computer desktops. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this kind of thing, just let me know uh, in the comments and I can continue to do more like this or whatever people might be interested in. Thank you.